so I have a very, very big romantic announcement. Well, I don't know about romantic, but I'll be in the most romantic city next week. I don't know if you can tell my two big ass suitcases in the back of me. And those two big suitcases better last me a month because I'm announcing to you, announcing, I'm announcing to you guys, I will be going on a one month hiatus away from YouTube, away from JLo's Mac. I've given myself the greatest opportunity to travel everywhere around Europe for a whole month. Yeah! As I told you guys last year that I had the opportunity to travel Southeast Asia. Well, I kind of chickened out. I should like take a shot of balls right now because I need some balls. And we all know that fear kills more dreams than boyfriends. Now, I'm not quitting YouTube. I'm taking just a one month break just to be away from, you know, just everything. You know, I love YouTube. YouTube has given me so much blessings in my life, um, you know, including my dogs, and all the places I've traveled in the world. All that came from YouTube. I feel so grateful for that. And I want to thank you guys for all of the support that you guys have been giving me for so many years now. And for those of you guys who are new to my channel, hello! I'm taking this trip as kind of like a soul-searching trip, you know? You know, at some point in our lives, we feel a little disconnected with ourselves, the world, or, you know, our relationships. Our minds just get so unraveled with worries and fears that at some point in our lives that we just have to take a break. I've officially hit the mid-twenties life crisis. <laughs> and I think some of you guys who have told me to take a break and just relax. So thank you for that encouragement because I think it's time. I just want to be truthful and honest with you guys because you know, that's how I run my channel. Just straight to the point, hit it, quit it, bam, bam, thank you ma'am. You know, that formula in life for me has always worked. That's kind of how I survived high school. And now I'm just dealing with the traumas of high school. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> six years I think I've made over oh, almost a thousand videos that is a fucking lot of videos you know I started my channel in 2009 when I started my channel it was kind of like an accident it was just kind of like a way for me to escape the mundane trials and tribulations of like you know being a young teenager YouTube was kind of a place for me to just kind of vent and to kind of be creative with my personality you know when I started JLo's Mac 1 I had no intention of you know wanting to be famous or I never wanted the fame I I didn't care for the money I just wanted to film because I felt like I was talking to my friends so it was just kind of like an organic platform and as my channel grew to 2 million subscribers in six years it's just like Whoa. And you know, I remember when the beauty community was such a tiny, tiny community. It's just like high school, you know? We all bitch at each other. We all complain at something. Some of us think our shits don't stink. There are the girls who are really, really popular. And then there's the ones that just kind of keep to themselves. Some girls like to show off their shit and some girls just don't give a shit. Like me, who may not care for, you know, a nice decorated apartment or house or all these designer brands. And a lot of us girls here in the beauty community who have tons and tons of subscribers sometimes we get caught up in all the perks that we get and the monies that we're making and it's no secret that us girls make a lot of money for what we do and sometimes you just gotta stop drop and roll and thank the people that got us here which are you guys and i appreciate all of the love and support that you guys have shown me over the years so thank you to you know talk to you guys as my girlfriends and I know that some of you guys have noticed that you know my, kind of like my energy in my videos or kind of my lack of uh, confidence um, I know you guys have noticed my kind of you know energy has just kind of been like you know down and out to explain that um, I don't know if some of you guys have noticed that my views have been you know like poor <laughs> and for the last year and a half I'm thinking my subscribers hate me now. F*** you, Jay! And you guys here only see what you see for, you know, a few minutes of video. But you guys don't understand really the back side of YouTube. And truthfully, what happened was, two years ago, I got f***ed by YouTube. I was one of those people who got under a programming glitch. During that YouTube programming, my channel was affected tremendously. My views dropped for over 50%. YouTube completely terminated all of my mobile views. Most of our views on YouTube is through mobile. And 68% of my views don't reflect my channel. And when I found that out, I was so f***ing livid. It was just like a huge punch in the gut, like a huge blow. I mean, I even know the exact date that my numbers plummeted overnight. When that happened at that date, I was like, what the f 
Now of course thanks to my audience turned their back on me. And then I stopped to rationalize like, how does it make sense that 68% of my views don't reflect on my channel overnight? How does a 2 million subscriber based channel only have 50,000 views? For the past two years, I've been trying to fix this major issue and with the help of my network, we didn't get no f help from YouTube. So thanks a lot YouTube. fucking sucks because I've been loyal to YouTube for six years now and they can't even help me. And I owe you guys that explanation because it doesn't help when you guys tell me, oh, Jermaine, you're a loser now. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's like embarrassing only because you guys don't know the back end side of what happened to my channel and that's okay. And with this major issue of my channel, you know, it has affected my life greatly. YouTube is not just a fun thing to do, you know, it's our career. It's kind of like, imagine if your boss cut 75% off your paycheck. And I'm speaking up for those channels who was greatly affected by this programming. And I just want to say it's not, it's not your channels. It is f***ing YouTube f***ing us over because they've gotten so big they don't give a shit about anybody. That they don't need a channel that has 2 million subscribers. Anyways guys, I just feel like really discouraged and disappointed that this happened to my channel. Because of that, I've been, you know, discouraged in my videos because, you know, after this huge blow, it sucks that YouTube is taking something that is important to me. And on top of that, I get backlash for, you know, when I show a hairbrush. Oh, Jermaine, that is a fuck sponsor video. And just because I show a product, like, you know, a f***ing flower pen, um, doesn't mean that, you know, the video is sponsored. For those of you guys who don't understand, when us girls do sponsored videos, it's all part of our brand. You know, it's all part of the hustle. You no, know, I would never show product or sponsored video product that I don't support. I mean, that's bullshit. You know, I take my channel and my brand seriously because I respect you guys. All I have to say is for those of you guys who are greatly affected on YouTube, hang in there. Let's get some answers. I'm going to be taking a one month break away from YouTube where I won't be making videos. I'm not quitting YouTube. I'm just taking a one month break. However, I won't go completely MIA on my social media. Since I'll be traveling Europe, I'll be doing lots of photos on Instagram. And who knows, maybe I can be in your home country. And I'm taking this journey. It's kind of like a soul searching journey to just kind of find what makes me tick. Well, I know what makes me tick. So I got two suitcases here and typically this is how much I would pack in like a three day weekend somewhere. I'm really taking a risk here. I'm going to Europe and it's kind of autumn there right now. That means a lot of coats and boots and shit. But I got smart. Cause you know why? What I did was I got one of those compression bags, you know? Oh, huh. Except the problem with that is I have to like pay overages now. Whatever. Uh, no, see, I'm worrying. I'm starting to worry. I wanted this one month hiatus trip to be worry free, problem free, scared free, carb free trip for my soul. So anyways, I am on my way to the airport right now. And guess where I'm going? Paris first. If any of you guys are a Airbnb member, please don't hesitate to email me. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for listening. <laughs> I will miss my channel and my you guys, and I will protect my cookie, and I will see you guys in a month. Au revoir!